Hi there, Luis Casco here, and today I'm so excited to invite you along for a mini masterclass all about eyeshadow. Whether you're an eyeshadow pro or more of a newbie, this class is for you. I'll cover some of my best tips and tricks that I promise you don't want to miss. So let's get started. First up, I'm going to talk about foolproof eyeshadow formulas that work for every woman. The most basic formula to follow is perfect for all kinds of eye shapes and allows you to create endless looks with three shades. Just stick to the following. Use a light shade of your choosing as the base and then select a darker shade for your crease. Then finish with a little shimmer in the inner corner to round out this simple eye look. This formula creates the illusion of larger looking lids by limiting the darkness to only the crease. This is an especially great formula to follow for those of you with almond shape eyes. Now, if you have hooded eyes, this next formula is for you. Apply the darkest shade of your choosing right at the base of the lashes and then softly smoke it out. Then use a lighter color on the lid and crease. Don't worry if the shadow doesn't show when your eyes are open, because when you blink, you'll be able to get a peek of that subtle shadow. The biggest mistake you can make, though, is applying a light shadow all the way to the brow bone. Doing so will only make the fold look larger. So instead, have fun under the eyes and use a medium shade as a liner for an extra pop of color. Next, let's talk about picking the right shades. It can seem intimidating and you might think a lot of rules apply, but let me tell you a secret. The only rule is there aren't any rules. Seriously, the shades you're comfortable wearing will totally depend on your personality, mood, and style. If being subtle is more your speed, opt for lighter shades within the same color family and apply with less intensity. And if you're ready to stand out, choose bolder shades with more intense shimmer and tones, then mix and match colors to create unique combos. If you're looking to enhance your eye color, you can focus on shades that will make them sparkle. For hazel eyes, I suggest a little gold and brown combo. And for blue or even brown eyes, any shade of purple will really make them pop. But at the end of the day, it's all about you. So select shades that make you feel confident and beautiful. When you do that, you really can't go wrong. Of course, I can't leave you without a little inspiration. To get you started creating looks of your own, I'm going to show you some shadow combinations I'm currently loving using Mary Kay Chroma Fusion eyeshadow. Each of these are seasonless shade combos, so you can really rock them year round. No rules apply. I'll start with a real simple combo that's perfect for those of you starting out with eyeshadow. Use Moonstone with Rose Gold for a really pretty wearable look. Next, let's take neutrals up a notch with Biscotti, Hazelnut, and Espresso. These matte shades will help you create a fully contoured eye look. Now, if you're looking for something a little smokier, try pairing granite, shadow, and onyx together to create a gray smoky eye. Start with the darkest shade onyx at the lash line and build the look from there. For a more creative take on a classic smoky eye, reach for something in the purple family. Soft heather, frozen iris, and sweet plum complement each other perfectly for a soft, smoky look. And if purple isn't your thing, up for a simple green look instead. Blend gold status with emerald noir for a really interesting wash of color. You can also use one of my favorite hacks to amp up your eyeshadow look. Use a blush shade as a shadow. Personally, I love using a wash of Mary Kay Chroma Fusion Blush in Hot Coral on deeper bronze skin tones or adding darling pink for a soft pink look. Thank you so much for tuning in to learn all about eyeshadow. I hope you had as much fun as I did and don't forget to visit marykay.com today to get connected with your very own beauty BFF 
so she can help you create and learn how to apply seasonless shadow combos of your own. For 60 years, Mary Kay has believed that some things never go out of style. That's why we're celebrating the beauty of empowering women for the past six decades with a makeover contest for the ages. The Mary Kay Then, Now, Always Makeover Contest. Reimagine retro looks from then, invent a scroll-stopping look that's so right now, or design a timeless look that always inspires. You could be one of three grand prize winners who will win $1,500 in cash, an assortment of Mary Kay favorites, and have their winning looks turned into exclusive limited edition 60th anniversary looks that will be featured on social media. To enter, book a color appointment with your Mary Kay independent beauty consultant who can help you create your custom look with Mary Kay products. Then, simply upload your image onto the contest microsite from April 3rd through May 12th along with a caption explaining how your look is inspired by then, now, or always. We can't wait to see your creativity. Contact your independent beauty consultant today and express your unique style. Whoa, 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 we're so excited to be here. Woo! For those of you popping on, welcome, welcome, welcome. And go ahead and type in the chat. We would love to see um, who your beauty consultant is. So type in the chat who she is, and I'll put that little thing up there. Let us know who your beauty consultant is by typing in the chat. That way we can we can see who's on and who's uh, excited for their 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 customer to be here. So um, didn't you love Louis Costco's? He's one. Of, he's a famous makeup artist. Does all kinds of people. Well, he that master eye class. There was so much in it. A mini class. I just loved it. So we're going to bring you Summer Glow. That's what we're all about. And it's going to be from the simplest look to the most dramatic look that you could pull off for the summer and how to do a look that actually stays on. That's wonderful. So um, again, type in the chat. And before we uh, really get going, I want to just do a few housekeeping tips. You guys know that we're going to be giving uh, or $1,000 worth of products away tonight. So get excited for that. And by you typing in the chat, that's how you're entered to win. So talk to each other, ask questions, whatever you want to do in the chat is awesome. All right. So housekeeping tips. Customers, uh, let us know any questions you might have. Uh, the more you interact, the more chances you have to win prizes, which is awesome. Maddie's uh, writing, 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 writing your names down right now as you're typing. And uh, many of you have received samples in the mail. So some of you received skincare and almost all of you who wanted to get a packet received a glamour look and the microdermabrasion, the CC cream and uh, the foundation primer. So we're going to be using those. If you want to get them out right now and use them and go along with us as we're going through these products, go ahead. If you want to use them tomorrow morning, totally up to you what you want to do. You might just want to watch and take notes. So however you want to use them, just enjoy. We hope you love the products that you received in the mail. So that's the first thing. The second thing um, that I want you to know is that Mary Kay is 100% guaranteed. So I don't know if you know that if you're new to Mary Kay, uh, the company supports the products as well as the consultants. But if you purchase something and you're like, oh, that I really didn't like that. Well, you can return it to your consultant and your consultant doesn't have to pay shipping she gets all of her money back also from the company so have no fear try things you can return them and your consultant is not out okay so I want you to know that and then one more thing that I am so proud of I want to just tell you about Mary Kay our company it was founded by the actual woman Mary Kay Ash 60 years ago and um, the company's based on the golden rule which is treating others the way you want to be treated. And it's also based on putting your faith first, your family second, and then your career. Because Mary Kay said, out of that order, nothing seems to work. So we're, we're so proud of her philosophies and the company still operates that way today. Um, it's still family owned. It is a debt-free company. Our products are made right here in the USA. You can put some flags in the margin there. We're proud of that. And um, we also... In addition to all the great standards we have and everything, uh, Mary Kay has a foundation. I know many of you commented on that. But our foundation, our mission is to eliminate cancers affecting women 
and to eradicate domestic violence. So to date, our foundation has donated over $60 million to domestic violence shelters across our country. And so that women and children can have a safe place to sleep tonight. And also we have donated $28 million to scientists to find cures for cancers that are affecting women. So we're proud of our company. We're proud that women and children and, and we can live healthy, uh, successful, strong lives. So that's my company. And um, I'm going to share my, uh, my girlfriends with you right now. We all are very proud of it. So here come your hosts tonight, Aaliyah, Teresa, my girlfriends. <laughs> and uh, we're just going to say just where we're coming from in from. I'm Charmaine, as you know, and I'm from Traverse City, Michigan. I'm way up north. And uh, my favorite thing about summer, I love the sun. I love my flowers and gardening. And I just started, my husband and I just started last year sailing. So that's another uh, fun thing we love to do on the water here in Lake Michigan. Okay. Oh, Ali, I think you're muted. Thank you about that. <laughs> uh, hi, everyone. My name is Alia DiMaria, and I'm coming to you from the Orlando, Florida area. Um, gosh, there's, I mean, summer's the best because, like, summer babies out there. It's my birthday. Oh, it's <laughs> Uh, but I love traveling and visiting different beaches in Florida um, and going to the theme parks and fun stuff like that. Awesome. And I'm Teresa Whitaker coming in from Chelsea, Michigan. And I think all of us are summer babies. Yeah, I yeah. think I round out. But, <laughs> but my favorite is, of course, the sun and warmth, but the smell of grilling, uh, mm -hmm. you know, bring on the. Fourth of July food and fair food and all that. That's awesome. True, true. Okay, so what we're going to do tonight is we're going to share with you from start to finish how to have that summer glow look, how to have great looking skin and how to keep it on. That's what we're sharing you, a makeup proof, proof, makeup, makeup proof summer look. That's one thing. Awesome. And so one thing that we're going to be doing to guys, and we're super excited about that, is we're giving away a ton of prizes tonight. So you have to be present to win. Um, and so make sure you're paying attention. There's actually going to be a little something that's going to scroll across the bottom um, that is going to say winner. And we'll pop that up when the time is. But just make sure that you're paying attention. And if you're on YouTube watching, we can also see your comments. So make sure that you're commenting on there as well. And I'm excited because we're going to share beauty tips and trends and give you ideas on what makeup might be best for you, especially during the summer. And also now for my age group, we can get super excited because Teresa's going to share with us how to take a good selfie because, you know, we go straight on and we, we just don't know. And there are there are some real clear angles that you should be using to make yourself look good because you're going to have your makeup on and you're going to we're going to you're going to want to take pictures. So we're going to learn that. Um, and so I said prizes, but I don't know if I said we're giving away over a thousand dollars of prizes, guys. Um, so some of you guys have already won some because you were commenting and we're um, engaging. And that was so incredible. We're so excited for that. Um, but we're going to give away a lot more tonight. And that's going to be by engagement. So when you see your name, we're going to kind of go fast when it comes to the prizes. When you see your name pop up there and it says winner, make sure you text that number right away. Um, the number is going to be right there on the screen. Um, let Maddie know your name, your address, and who your beauty consultant is. That way we can make sure we get you those gifts as soon as possible. You can write the name number down right now because I just put it up just in case, just so you'd be ready. Okay. And then plus, you'll be able to take advantage of our special good deals that are available only for the next 24 hours. So stay tuned at the end for that. Okay. I got to find my little, my little music box one <laughs> moment, ladies. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so this is the noise that you're listening for. <laughs> this is the music. So when this music plays, that is your clear sign. Someone's about to win a prize. And we're gonna do an on-time drawing. So excited. So our first winner is gonna win the incredible Timewise Miracle Set. Guys, this gift is valued at $120. We're famous, famous, famous in Mary Kay for our skincare. It's our number one bestseller. So you're gonna get the cleanser, the day moisturizer with SPF to protect from UVA and UVB rays, your night cream and your eye cream, 
all in there. And that is what we all use on our face beforehand to um, prep our skin for our color, right? Because we want to make sure like your makeup not, game is not good. Remember that like cute little thing I put in this group like a couple weeks back, your skincare game, you want that to be good so that your makeup game can be good. Um, so that's exactly what you guys got if you filled out the form for that um, sample pack. That's the exact skincare that's in there. Um, so look, we have our first winner. So our first winner of the Miracle Set is Janet Roy. So oh, congratulations, hey. Janet. So exciting. So Janet, can you text that number? <laughs> yep, perfect. <laughs> All right. And now I'm going to talk about um, the microdermabrasion. So each of us washed our face and did the microdermabrasion before we're hopping on. So we are fresh face just for you. And the microdermabrasion is one of my must-have products. Can't live without it. And this set is the microdermabrasion step one refine is the same grade as used in a dermatologist's office. It's titanium dioxide crystals that are rounded and they help gently buff away and clean out your pores and get that top layer of dead skin off without damaging your skin. And then the second step, our pore minimizer. This has Persian silk tree bark in it, red, white, and green teas to help put all the antioxidants back in and keep those pores um, and minimize the look of pores and fine lines and wrinkles. Who doesn't want that, right? So this is like my favorite because it's like instant results. And so if you've used it in your packet, you already know how incredible your face feels. Mm -hmm. And just these two turn back the time in for sure. And I, I believe we're going to give one away right now too to one lucky winner yes we are cheryl drew yes. text winner text winner to 231-409-9928 lucky right. lucky yeah. lady and now so i shared that we were fresh faced so now all of us are gonna put on our um Another one of my favorite products. I'm probably going to say that for every product I <laughs> I use. <laughs> but this is our foundation primer. So this is like, I'll show you like this little, like, um, this is what I call silk in a tube. Oh my goodness. It has a little SPF in it too. So when worn alone, like if you're in the in your house, you want to throw this on. Even if you're not going out anywhere. Um because a lot of people will say, oh, I'm not going anywhere, so I don't need to wear foundation. Well, at least put this on because this does help protect your skin. It's like spackle for your face. It fills in any imperfections, scars, pores, and it makes you, it gives you that flawless face, face finish. It also has oil absorbing properties, so it's great for oily skin, which that is what I am, like mega oily. And it just helps act like a magnet for any foundation you're going to put on. So if you're going to go through the work of putting on a foundation, you want it to stay all day, right? So this helped do that. And we're actually going to be using, each of us, a different foundation and a different way of applying it. So... Aaliyah, which one are you using? Okay, so I'm actually using our CC cream. Um, so just so you guys can have an idea, I am the um, medium to deep shade. Um, so that's about like the third level. So um, I'm just going to apply this. I'm going to talk to you about it while I apply it. Oh, but I'm applying it with our foundation brush. So um, truthfully, this is probably, in my opinion, the best brush um, to apply the CC cream with. Um, you see how it's like nice and angled right there? Um, I love the way it just catches it, but watch how literally I'm going to paint one side of my face and it's going to totally take out all of the redness. I'm going to go one side first. It's so funny trying to do it into the video. I always think I can do it without my camera. I mean, my mirror and I'm wrong. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and do my whole, this side of my face. So you guys can see how it just takes out that redness super, super quickly. Um, but what CC cream is, is it's actually technically not even a tint, uh, it's not even a foundation. It's more so a tinted moisturizer. Um, and the CC in it stands for complexion correction. So I hope my lighting is good enough, but you see how it already kind of took out 
switch sides to this side. It already kind of took out that pinkness that I had going on on, you know, my cheeks. I get a little rosy uh, right through there. And it really just totally takes that out um, and just instantly brightens and really just kind of corrects, um, you know, your skin's complexion. Okay. So now that I'm going to do it on this side, you'll see how fully my whole face is going to match. Um, what's super great about this stuff is it's non-communogenic, it's oil-free, it works well with people who have um, blemish-prone skin, that tends to be me too. Um, it actually hydrates your skin as well too, and it has 15 SPF. So we just did that 15 SPF with the foundation primer, and now we're even adding some more. Okay. All right, and I'm using the Luminous Foundation, which is um, a, more of a fuller coverage foundation, and I like to just dab it on my eyelids. So if I'm not even wearing um, any eyeshadow for the day, I have my eyelids covered because as you get older, you get more um, purpley, and you get like these little red dots, you know, on your eyelids. And so just throwing a foundation, I just before I do anything, I just throw a foundation over my eyes. And make sure it gets in here because, again, as we get older, our skin gets thinner. Isn't that crazy? And so we get thinner. You see, like, the blood underneath here. So you want to kind of almost make it like a little bit of a concealer. Now, my brush that I'm using is the blending brush. And it looks like it's a sponge. But actually, it is a thousand little bristles. Let me see if I can get it so you guys can see. I don't know if you can see. A thousand little bristles are on this brush. And it is the uh, gives you the most coverage. So I put it on like this. And you really, it's kind of like when you use, um, you're painting a room and you're using a roller brush. You just kind of roll it on. Look how lovely that looks. You just roll it on. I don't know if you can see the difference between my two sides. It just looks, you know, you can see the imperfections here. And you can see how it's just like, oh. I just made, I just primed my and painted my coat of foundation and it just looks great. So um, I love this luminous foundation. CC cream's great, but as you older, so just our age groups, like Aaliyah's in her 20s, Teresa's in her 40s, and I'm in my 60s. So, you know, my age group loves this because it gives us a little bit more coverage um, and it just, uh, you know, it makes you feel great to just have your skin look so flawless. Okay. Oh, one more thing. Um, the Luminous Foundation has the same encapsulated resveratrol as the Miracle Set. So that's like a powerhouse ingredient. It has vitamin B3 in it, which is an age-defying peptide. So that's, um, it says time-wise. And any product with the words time-wise on it means they're age-defying products. So it's weightless and it doesn't go in your creases it um, has light reflecting minerals in it. So Yehoba is in it and it lasts. It's a super great product. I never feel like there's humidity. It just, it's it's wonderful. It's luminous. And it, my skin looks luminous when I have it on. Your turn, Teresa. All right. And it also comes in matte formula as well. Yeah. So she's using luminous. But, and then I am going to use our most photogenic of all the foundations. And that's our cream to powder foundations and this go it it does what it says it goes on as a cream and dries to a powder finish so this is like our i feel like our fullest coverage so if you have like freckles it really covers and makes your skin flawless and you're gonna see that in a second on me and um, but it doesn't feel heavy either. It's super light, makes your skin super soft. It feels like your skin will feel like velvet. It's um, for sure a fave for those that use it. And then to apply it, I'm using our beauty sponge, our beauty blending sponge. And I just want to show you, this is the one I'm using. Um, this is how it actually looks. I don't, can you see them side by side? Um, there we go. So What's unique about our blending sponge compared to other beauty blenders out there is we have honeycomb cell technology. And what that means is it allows, um, so you hold this underwater and see how it gets like three to 
twice its size <laughs> and the honeycomb allows it to actually dry so you just rinse it off when you're done with your foundation and it will actually dry to this so moisture isn't stuck in this and that's where you don't get like mold or mildew because some of those other beauty blending sponges you have to be careful they do hold in water in the middle and if you were to cut it in half it would be really really gross so <laughs> ours doesn't do that it actually shrinks down and this is more dense um versus this is more smushy so i'm actually gonna use um and so i'm just gonna dip it kind of in the foundation and you kind of this is like um you don't want to like rub like this because then you're gonna rub it off you kind of press and pat and roll that's kind of how you get it on and it just it gives you like a super flawless finish so this gives you like an airbrushed finish and like i said it covers imperfections so good it has so many this has so many different sides so the bottom is flat so you can actually um go like that and so i'm just gonna continue on wow i think we're gonna give away more right carrie carrie you are the winner of the blending brush which is the one i used so congratulations carrie the blending brush and sue mcintosh Kaysom, Sumac, so, so I saw your name. You um, were are the winner of the foundation brush, Yay! which Aaliyah used. Yes. I love that brush. And you can you don't even have to use this piece, Sue. With You can just use that brush right here for your eyes, too. Mm -hmm. Super awesome. Okay, here come some winners. CC Cream. Tara Smith. Congratulations, Tara. You won that CC Cream. How exciting. And your shade, whatever that is. <laughs> Okay, our choice of luminous or matte is going to be Deborah Wooten. Congratulations, Deborah. Deborah. Congratulations. You guys keep commenting because as you comment, your names are going in these drawings. As you see us getting all prepped and primed. Is okay. that everything? Okay. We got one more. One more is coming on, and that is the foundation primer, which you guys, you know, everybody used that as the beginning. That's your spackle. That's your spackle. So who is our winner, Maddie, for the foundation primer? Deb Gleason. All right, Deb. Congratulations. Super good. Okay. Now, um, now we are prepped and we're really excited because um, our first look is our kind of our creme de la creme. It's in our brand new looks, the cover of our brand new lookbook coming out. And Teresa's going to take it away and show you this fabulous it's so on trend you guys it's fabulous. so pretty oh my gosh i am super excited okay. this look is it's kind of once we'll again my what oh <laughs> it is my favorite look right now i'm wearing it like every day and so i'm just this is what the palette looks like so the colors we have are um so we have glazed highlighter that we're gonna do golden copper cheek color we have crystalline eye color and then sun no dusty rose sunlit rose and frozen iris so i'm gonna show you um if when you get the new book this is it gives you a step-by-step -step tutorial and it even tells you what brush to wear so i'm gonna put on a little eye primer first as soon as I find my <laughs> my cream powder eye color so you do want to make sure you put some eye primer on first just to kind of remember just like foundation primer you want that to extend and kind of grab your eye color so we're just going to put that all over Okay, now we're going to start with, we're going to take our, um, the base, which is going to be, believe it or not, you would think um, you would do the lighter colors, but we're actually going to do this frozen iris, this purple, that we're going to do all over with our eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to actually do two different looks. I'm going to do the look in the lookbook on one eye, and then I'm going to show you a really quick, 
quick ombre look on the other eye. That's one of my go-to favorite tips and tricks for getting the perfect eye um, using any amount of colors. So, but for this one, I'm going to put frozen iris just on all over my lid. Look how pretty that is, you guys. And just so you know, purple, this is purple. I have blue eyes, but it is going to make my eyes look a little more green probably because it is purple. Okay. So that is the frozen iris. Now I'm going to take my crease brush and do sunlit rose, which is this middle one here. Um, it's a beautiful pink. I wear, I wear this color pretty much every day. So this is going to go in my crease. Okay. And I'm going to blend it up a little bit too. <laughs> now also, and we're going to come all the way across. Also, I'm going to take that other pink, Dusty Rose, and that's also going to go, I'm going to go above that. So I have a lot of space here on my eye. So I have to go up and create a little deeper crease. And you can make this look as like intense as you want. If you want a little more purple, which I do, I'm going to add just a little bit more purple. Okay. And then I'm going to take the eye smudger brush da -da, and I'm going to dip it in this crystalline right there. And we're going to do that on the inside corner here. White on the inside corner, instant eye brightening trick. You can also use this. And then we're just going to tap like a little bit in the middle here. Um, so you can, it'll lighten up the color on it. So it'll give it more like a lilac -y look. lilac -y. I don't know if that's a word, but it is now lilac word. Or. So it can lighten up too. Can you guys see that? And so, like I said, if you want it um, more purpley, you can just go over. And then um, she has a um, steely eyeliner. So I'll just show you really quick on this eye. Kind of tie it all in so she went on top. And so I'll show you really quick on the other eye because that's essentially it. I'm going to, I am going to show you um, cheeks and lips in a second here. But on the other eye, you want to take, so we'll, we're going to do um, that eye smudger brush. And all you do. So um, I have four colors here. So with this one, we're going to go darkest to light. And you're going to start with the darkest one. So that would be the frozen iris. And for this, you're going to, um, the angle goes pointed out. So you're just going to start on this outside corner and make a line at a 45 degree angle down. And once again, you can make this as thick Hope you can see that. So I'm using four eye colors and you just continue and remember you got to go above your crease a little bit so that you can see it. Now I dipped it in the sunlit rose. That's the next one and I'm just going next to it. Then dusty rose. And let's say I want a little bit more purple. I can go back. And you can always add. And then same brush. Didn't switch my brush yet. A little bit of that crystalline. Need to go up a little higher. Okay. Super weird doing this in the camera. Need to just go up a little higher. There we go. And 
And now, voila, you could take a, um, you could take an all over blending brush and just kind of swirl to kind of blend all those together. And same thing, I'll do Sealy a little later. And then um, this is Golden Copper Cheek Color. I love this color. Because this is like a bronzy color. It looks great on everyone. Um, perfect perfect uh, summer. Perfect. <laughs> I don't know which way I was going. Um, perfect summer color. Like it, you can use this all over. And then lastly, the look is blush velvet lip. And this is just a great new, like neutral, um, kind of like a nude lip. And those colors really make your eyes kind of pop, like pop. See how like blue, um, like really blue green my eyes are. And that is it. That is the summer. It's called Shimmer All. Oh, wait, no. I forgot one thing. One thing. One more thing. I was, I'm like, it's called Shimmer. <laughs> Glaze. Glaze Highlighter. This, um, use our three-in-one cheek brush. So you use kind of the tip. And this goes above, just above your cheek color. And that is, and you can obviously go all over your face. And that is why it's called Shimmer All Summer. It's a beautiful, neutral, like subdued look that you could pull off day or night. And you just have the most beautiful eyes. I just have to tell you. I'm like, us brown eyed girls were like, oh, her eyes. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, <laughs> but they look stunning. Great job. Thanks. <laughs> Great job. Okay. All right. So I think we have some music that's about to play. I think. Yeah. Okay, perfect. All right. So we're going to do some giveaways. And so our first winner is on the screen. So um, Miss Jennifer Shar, Sharar, she is our first winner and she's going to win the powder. So congratulations. And then our next winner, let's see who's gonna win next. The ultimate mascara winner is gonna go to Cindy Hugler. So congratulations, Cindy. So if you see your name, make sure you text that number. Let's see, is the number popping up there? I know it's like two, okay. 231-409-9928. So congratulations to our winners. Super yeah. exciting. Awesome, awesome. Okay, <laughs> excuse me, cough. Um, and, and please ladies, um, comment, comment, comment. If you have any questions, please ask them because we're going to go on and I'm going to now do a little bit of, I have a little bit of half my face on and the other. So I'll be, I'll let you go, Leah. Okay. All right. So I took off my eyebrow and um, I just want to show you very quickly. Uh, I'm going for a really simple look. So, um, a simple look, I would put my foundation on my primer, my foundation, I would do my eyebrows. So the way you do an eyebrow is you start from your nose through the end of your eye and right where that goes straight up, I gotta look here, is where your eyebrow starts. Okay, that's where my eyebrow starts. Then nose through your iris, that's where the arch is right here. And then nose through the end of your eye is where your eye ends right there. So then I start from the middle and I lightly feather little, I start to build the brow. Um, and this eyebrow pencil, it actually grabs onto hair. The, um, for you younger girls, as we get older, you lose the hair around your eyebrow. So some people still have hair, but, but most of us, probably half of us, we lose that hair. So we just uh, sh draw where the eyebrow is. And they always say eyebrows are sisters, not twins. So you just draw in the eyebrow with little, little strokes. It grabs onto the hair that's there. And then you, like I have a scar across this, so I just kind of create a little bit of the brow here. And um, now I have a brow. I personally like, and some people like 
gel. Some people like um, just doing a gel or they like doing just, just the liner or they like doing both. I like doing both. So this is a, a brush with gel blonde gel and it has little fibers to help also add to put a little more over this side to my eyebrow. So you do your brows first so they don't, if you do them last, they tend to get too heavy looking. All right, so that is that. And I'm going to grab my spoolie brush. See that? It's like a mascara wand brush. And I just brush through just slightly my eyebrow just to make it look really natural and, you know, where, where you want it to be. All right, so that's my brow. And then I wanted to show you something super simple um, using, so I have a brow my foundation. And then I want to show you, this is a water line. Um, this is a waterproof eyeliner. And um, I used to do shadow underneath my waterline, but I have extremely dry eyes. Uh, extremely lately, like under doctor supervision, dry eyes. <laughs> so I'm not doing shadow under my eye. I don't want anything falling into it. So I just take this eyeliner brush and I hope you guys, you can see it. I just go right here along my lashes. I did it on my other side already, and I kind of create a liner. Can you see? I just gave myself a natural line, like kind of that Liz Taylor look, underneath the waterline. The nice thing about this is it's waterproof, so it's not going to be going in my eye. Um, if you wanted to add a little bit of this black eyeliner into the base of your eyelashes, you can do that. And then I just take a little bit of my the other side of the spoolie brush. I go and I blend it into my lash line base. All right, super easy. And I have that look. And then I put my mascara on. I put my, 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 my mascara over here. This is my favorite, my Fanorama. And I do love curling my lashes. So I just crimp a few times my lashes and I curl them. And then I put my mascara. Now this, once I have my lipstick on, this is, I'm set to go. I do use a little cheek. So I'm going to add a little cheek. So this is a look that you could just liner, mascara, eyebrows. It kind of just defines your face because um, you want that definition. This is, this is kind of like going out on the boat, running to the supermarket, going to a picnic, something that's really simple and sweet. All right. I'm going to throw on the, the lips. This is mauve moment because this look is goes with um, there. Now I'm ready to go to the supermarket, right? I do those. I always think I'm not going to wear cheek color because I have a little bit of rosy cheeks already. But then I look and I go, oh, I think I'd like to connect that. So this is the palette that many of you receive for blue eyes. And these are the colors for blue eyes. This is the lipstick I have on the cheek color and the three eye colors. So I'm gonna show you that look. It's really a simple look. This um, cheek color, I'll just dab it on my cheek and lightly blend up just to kind of connect everything. Um, this look has a paint by number. So this is the classic Louis Costco in the beginning showed us the glamour looks based a little bit on eye shapes. That is the classic eye look right there. So you can put your one, two, three, your shadows on just like Louis did it. I'm going to take um, my shadow brushes, one moment, right here, my edge brush. And I'm just going to use this matte because in the crease, and Louis did say that, in the crease, dot, 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 you do want no shimmer. You don't want your crease to look, he said, do not do white all the way, a light color all the way from top to bottom. So just in my crease, I have deep set eyes, so I try to push with a darker color my crease in. See, see that dark just pushed in my crease a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit more dark on this side to push in my crease. Then for me personally, I am going to take the shimmer and put it right on my lid. I just, these Chroma Fusion eyeshadow colors go on so nicely. You don't have to do a lot of blending. They're see-through. They let your skin throw, sh show. you know, back in the 70s, 80s, 90s, the, co the colors were so thick and heavy that you could really see um, when it didn't look good on you. But uh, these, I'm just dabbing, just dab, 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 right along my eye, this really soft eyeshadow. 
smoky quartz. Okay, so that would be, I just bumped it up. And then if you're really going to bump it up, the third color is your true, true accent color. You can bump it up right here with that accent. I'm going to just not blend yet. I'm going to throw a little bit, a little bit of dark right in the corner here on each side. And you can see that in your color card, how they did that. And then I blend it. And then your look is pretty much, that's it. It's a very simple eye look going from just liner and mascara to adding this color, this color, and then really bumping it up if you want to make it more glam. The third eyeshadow is the color that you bump up. Okay. Are my girlfriends coming back on? I'm going to bring you on. I have to look at our agenda to see who's coming on next. <laughs> it's a, so it comes right to you. Right, right to you, Aaliyah? Yes. Oh, so now you know, <laughs> you know what? I've got one moment. Yeah. I've got finishing spray. Mm -hmm. Teresa, did you put yours on? She's muted. You're muted. This finishing spray, you guys, the best thing. You want your makeup to stay on, brides, everyone. Uh, it, it is you. It is an absolute, absolute must. Okay. Um, and I'm going to talk about the makeup contest that we have oh. going on right now really quick since we're doing makeup looks. This is a okay. great time. Let you go. <laughs> this is a great time to connect with your beauty consultant because who can get excited about winning $1,500 cash uh, and a ton of Mary Kay products? Um, hello. Hello. And what's great is, is if you're one of the top 10 winners, your beauty consultant wins as well. So all you have to do is connect with your consultant and do either an era's inspired makeover. So that could be like a look from the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, um, or now, or an everyday look. It doesn't even have to be one of those looks. But three grand prize winners will receive... $1,500 cash prize um, in gift, Visa gift cards and a ton of Mary Kay products. And then 10 honorable mention winners will receive $500 cash prizes in Mary Kay products. And so you just simply connect with your consultant, schedule a time to get together for a makeover. She takes an after pick and you just enter on the contest website, which she will give you. It's super easy. Upload your photo and you are entered to win and no purchase necessary. And so why not get with your consultant and try a fun new look? You never know. You be, might be surprised. Um, this is a great time to maybe update your makeup wardrobe and pick out some fun new colors or try this new shimmer all summer um, look or the blue color eye card that Charmaine did. Okay, awesome. Well, we're going to get right to Aaliyah. Um, she has a super drama look. She tried it this afternoon and we're like, should you do that? It's really beautiful, very on trend. So Teresa and I are going away. Okay, so I'm just going to jump into it and take it away. Um, really quickly, I just want to show you guys. So I had um, the CC cream on that I did before and I actually did under eye corrector on only one of my eyes. So you can see how this eye looks so much brighter and more lifted. Um, honestly, my lighting's not really even helping that much this situation, but I'm going to do the other one really quick so you can see. Um, so under eye corrector is just, your girl has to use it. That's just how it goes. So I am very generous. I know some people like stipple. I kind of do like a nice little swig underneath my eye. Um, and something I've been doing recently, I used to just use my finger when I blended this in. Um, I've been using this cream brush and I love it. Um, so really, I just kind of dab it just like this. I'm going to try to do it into my mirror as well, too. Um, really just because I want the underneath my eye area. I just want it nice and bright. Um, I just have a little bit like darker darkness underneath my eye. So you see how I blended that out really quickly. Um, and I like to do two right here. I get a little dark and even on the ends of my eyes. Um, this is just kind of very um, pointed and they talked about it before, so I won't give you too much info on it. Uh, but I kind of like how it just it very easily blends that color out. So easy. Okay. Now I'm right underneath both eyes. Um, and then normally what I'll do, you have two options. You could use the translucent powder or you could use our silky setting powder. Um, so today I use the silky setting and I, the shade that I'm using right now is light beige. Um, and because it's underneath my eyes, I'm only going to do a little bit. I don't need a ton there. 
Um, so I just take a little bit with our powder brush and I kind of just stipple it right underneath the eye area. Um, what that does is it kind of takes out some of that shine that was there um, and helps mats it. And truly, I, if you are, um, I wanted to say this before and I didn't, if you are an oily girl and you use CC cream, you're probably going to get a little shiny in your T-zone area. Just totally fine, totally normal. Again, you can use either the translucent powder or the silky setting powder. So what I'll do is I'll just stipple it right in my forehead. Now the shine's gone. Um, or, you know, on my chin, really the T-zone area. But I'm going to put some more stuff there, so I'm not going to do all that much. And see how it kind of just took out the shine. Uh, but again, if you're looking for glow and you're looking for summer and you're not super oily, so you can kind of let some shine happen, it'll look good. Um, then you could probably just go with a tiny bit of that setting powder or just none at all. So oily girls, fortunately, we have to make sure that our little shine areas are good. But I'm going to hop right into this color look and kind of do it really quickly for you guys. So my big heads up to you is just know this color look that I'm going to do is going to look terrible for like 90% of the time that I'm doing it. I'm just being totally honest. Um, cause when I was doing it today, I was like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's like, I don't know that this one's going to make the cut. Um, but then I FaceTimed Charmaine, I FaceTimed my husband, a couple people and they were like, yeah, do it. Um, so, and you guys also voted to do it. So I'm just starting with that eye primer, putting that all over both my eyelids so that our color stays and it pops and because it's such a dramatic color and I'm going to be using, um, both our Chroma Fusion, as well as our liquid shadow, which is just so great. Love that guy. Um, I'm going to go in first with the eye crease brush. So that's this brush that we already talked about. It has a little fan. So I'm going to dip that in, Mer oops, in Merlot. And here's what the palette looks like. So we got these shades. So that's that darkest shade right there. It's a, just a deep, deep purple. Um, dipping it in there dust off any excess. And so what it's having us do is it's having us just do um, a little bit in the corners. Let me get a little more. So dabbing it in the corner. I know it looks crazy so far. Just bear with me. So I'm just dabbing it there. And then this is the craziest part that I was like, really? Are we sure? Um, we're going to dab it on the inside as well too. I know. It's crazy. All right. All right, so we're just doing the insides and outsides. I look incredible, right? Um, so next we're taking that awesome blending brush. That's that big, thick one. Um, and we're just gonna blend out, really it's just um, the harsh lines that we got going on there. So I'm just dabbing in both of these sections. I really don't even have to like, move the brush all that much. It's just gonna do the job for me. Just gonna dab right there, right there. And really we just kind of did that to create a little bit of a centerpiece um, because the centerpiece is the real star of this eye look right here. All right, so now that I blend that out, now, we're going to go in with none other than, where did it roll off to? Because I just had it. Here it is. Here's one. Okay. So this is our um, liquid eyeshadow in pink starlight. One of the prettiest colors ever. So I'm also going to use the cream color brush. This is one that I'm using just for makeup. I'm not using, or I'm not using the same one that I used um, on my under eye. Um, and I'm taking that and I'm dabbing that right in the center. I do love using, you could use your fingers for this, but I do love using this brush because it gives you more of a precise, um, like how you're putting it down. And so you see that shine already going on. I feel like my lighting's not doing me justice here. Um, but we're just putting it right down in the center to kind of have that pop. That's like the main point of this whole look right here. All right, so now that we put that on the center of both our eyes, here's the really fun part. Then we're gonna take the beautiful 
rose gold and cheryl i saw you totally hyping this up in the comments and yes it deserves to be hyped up because it's one of the best colors ever so they actually said um to use your finger and just apply it so i'm just going to take my ring finger it has the least amount of muscle so it's not going to um, be super super rough on your eyeball we want to be gentle to it and you're just going to pat right on top boom okay and i hope the lighting can show this well but it actually just immediately <laughs> brightens up everything. It's pretty incredible. I'll do it again on the other side. Sorry, my fingers are kind of in the way. I love what Louis said on the um, that video. was so good. That was a great picture. I mean, um, I love what he said. There's really no like right answer to stuff. Um, you kind of just go for it and just hope for the best. And this is one of those looks. We're kind of just going for it and hoping for the best. Okay, so now that we have those colors on, I'm going to run through with my, this is our um, deep brown, MK Deep Brown liner. I normally wouldn't use a brown liner, but because this look is so dramatic, this kind of like tones it down a bit. So for those of you who were like, oh, that's a little scary, uh, this part really just kind of helps tone it down. I definitely would not use a black liner <laughs> for this look because it would just be too dramatic. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it right across. I'm not tugging on my eye, I'm just holding it there. So it's just a little more taut and it's not pulling. Um, so right along the, um, sorry, the, the lashes right there for my liner. And then we're gonna take the liner and do it on the outside. We're in about, we're gonna go like three quarters of the way in. I normally do not wear a liner underneath here too, but look called for it and we liked it we liked the way it came out next up i'm going to use my eye smudger brush and this one's really great because it's a it's the tiniest head and it's the most like pointed so really what it does is it gives the most precise spot on where that color is going to go so we're going to go back in with that Mer merlot which is that deep purple color and i'm just going to brush it along this lash line Come together right guys i can't see the comments at the moment but i hope you agree okay all right so now that that's in there really what i would do is it's probably like my second time trying this um so i would maybe just go back in with my blending brush and kind of you know fix up these corners a little like kind of just you know blend them out a little bit more and guys don't worry i know it looked didn't it look totally different than it looks right now that's why you can't be scared of like how it first looks when you first put it down and just grab this blending brush. It'll most likely save your life every single time. <laughs> um, so I so appreciate that. And then next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and use this amazing blush brush. Um, and I love to share because this guy can be used three different ways. It can be used as blush, it can be used as contour and highlight. And right now I'm gonna use it for both contour and highlight. So if your beauty consultant still has this, um, amazing cream um, bronzer and um, it's actually a bronzer duo but I use it for my contour it's like really nice so I'm taking the um, this is the deeper color this is the uh, bronze and shimmer I'm taking the matte side and I'm kind of just creating a little bit of definition along my face where I want it defined I'll even do like my nose a little too we taught this um, a couple, like a couple months ago on a makeup course. Um, this is where I would put my contour for my heart-shaped face to kind of, you know, help address best contour for it. So I'm going to smudge it out with this. And really, what you can do is when you're applying it. Let me show you this. So you're going to love this. So when you're applying, and maybe you're using this. Okay, first of all, doesn't everyone want this? This is all the blushes. This is actually a highlight, and then these are actually two contours. If you don't have that um, cream one, you would use one of these. These are the two colors you would go for. Uh, you just dip it right into the product and then you're gonna squeeze it right on. You see that little divot that kind of pops up when I move? You're gonna squeeze it right there. And what it does is it kind of just, just like that. And it makes that perfect like contour sh shape for your face. And then you're just gonna blend it on out. And it looks so crazy right away, but they're my favorite. Love to contour. 
I also love showing people how to contour. And as Leah's doing that, we're going to give some prizes away because we want to make sure you're all on and because we have lots of big prizes to still give away. So, um, okay, the under eye corrector, Aaron Kuzjewski, Kuz, Eric. Eric. Eric, but I think it's Aaron. Aaron? I think it's Aaron. Uh -huh. You will know Aaron or Eric. Uh -huh. So text winner to 231-409-9928. So that's the under eye corrector. Did you put that on, Aaliyah? Your under eye corrector? I did. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I was. Okay. And then the winner, the um, blush, rosy nude, Darlene Smith. And that's what Aaliyah just. That's what I'm putting on right now. Yep. Rosy nude. And yeah. So Darlene Smith and the brush she's using, Beverly Sladen. Yeah, I love this. You, know you. You're a winner. You always win stuff. So um, Beverly, this, you're going to love that brush. So text winner to 231. 409-9928. And Teresa, while you're finishing up there, Leah, I know you have a few more pieces, but Teresa's going to mm -hmm. talk about the really wanting, I know everybody wants this, the selfies. Woo! Yes. 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 What we need to do. Okay. Well, first, probably the most important for selfie is lighting is everything. Um, I'm going to show you. Uh, oh, let's Okay. See, oh. um, can't really take a selfie like that. Can you? <laughs> so make sure you are facing light. So find a window, um, in front of a window where the sun comes in. That is like the best source. Uh, natural light is the best. Um, or you can get a ring light. Um, they make them on the back of, that goes on the back of your phones. So just make sure you are facing light. Avoid shadows. Um, smile like you mean it. Um, okay, my face. <laughs> Which one looks better? <laughs> smile always looks better. So always think smile, 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 smile. Um, you'd be surprised how many people like walk around, you know, like this. So um, just smile and then take several pics. Uh, mm -hmm. It's probably not going to be the first one. Probably not going to be the second one. Probably not going to be the third one maybe not even the fourth, fifth, sixth one. So just take several different picks, different angles, um, because some people have a better profile side. So um, it said like the Kardashians take 500 pictures. I'm not even joking for one to get one good shot. That's, it's crazy. Um, know your angles, chin down. Can I say something? Um, people who used to have cameras with actual film in them, Every print cost money. So we're a little less likely to take a bunch of pictures, but now they're digital. So you are not wasting money. You're not having to print it. Take a bunch of pictures and that night delete them. Okay. I'll let you keep talking. <laughs> yes. So chin down. Um, I'm going to pretend this palette is my phone. So you're going to, oh, I guess you can't see it here. Okay. So your phone is going to be up. Thank you, Aaliyah. I don't know why I couldn't do it. So your phone is up chin down. Um, that's going to be your angle. Don't stare directly into the camera. Kind of like stare off, you know, off to the side um, a bit. And then lastly, the uh, be aware of your background. Find a place that has kind of like a neutral background, not a lot of noise, you know, um, be aware of other people too, because that's how you get the photo bombs. So, <laughs> so kind of get away from people and just be aware of what is behind you because that can be distracting as well. Like people will pay more attention to what is behind you. Um, and that's pretty much it. And just play around and make sure you do it often because then you can find, um, you just get better at it the next time you take. So totally true. I just did it on my phone and I took two of them and I hate them. <laughs> and <laughs> when I was taking a, like a little bit of like a picture boomerang earlier today with this look on, I took a bunch, guys. Like, so I was like cute enough to put on that page, right? Um, so yeah, I just took a bunch and then it ended up being my last one that I was just like, all right, this one's good. Um, so yeah, so just take a bunch. But this is my finished look. I just wanted to tell you the couple of things that I finished really quick while they were talking. So I just put on um a generous amount of the rich truffle lipstick, the beautiful rich truffle. 
Um, and then we bronzed it up. This is like the perfect summer gloss beach bronze. Um, and I focused it just on the middle right there. So this is it, guys. This is the full look. You see, it was not as crazy as it originally started. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed getting the little tutorial of it. Um, and okay, what do we have next? Let's see. Okay. All right. So we're finishing up now, ladies. Um, quick, 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 quick as we move. But um, your beauty consultant is going to send you a feedback form right now. And uh, you, that is how she gets credit. And that is how you get put in for more prizes. We're giving a lot more prizes away, just like we gave prizes away yesterday. And we gave them away last week. Same thing tomorrow at eight o'clock at night. So we'll be here at eight o'clock tomorrow to give more prizes. But um, you want to fill out your the Google form that your consultant's giving you. That's how you enter in the prize or and and or purchase something from your consultant. That's how you get entered in for prize drawings tomorrow. Um, and uh, let's see what else tomorrow specials. OK, so I'm just going to show you our specials and then we're going to give two big prizes away. So I'll let you guys go. Oh, you guys can stay on. OK, so these are our sets. So we talked about uh, the repair set. That's the skincare set I use. And for tonight, and this is just these prices are good for the next 24 hours only. So the time wise repair volume set, this is for women who um, have, are kind of well, there's people in their 30s using this, but it is for women who've gone through menopause because it helps really shore up your collagen and strengthen your skin. And it has, um, oh, I always forget the word, Teresa, the night cream. Encapsulated retinol. Retinol in it. So that's a great one. Regularly $215, you save $43. It's $172 for the next 24 hours. Okay, then we have the Miracle 3D set. We've talked a lot about that regularly, $120, but you get it for $96 today um that saves you 24 and then we have the basic skincare that if you just wanted to do cleanser and moisturizer that's 60. okay and then um the look that teresa did get the look all those pieces the blush the highlighter the lipsticks the um uh, all the eyeshadows and the eyeliner the cheek brush all of that is 138 retail but you can get it for 100 and the reason we did it for 100 this look is so that just see all the items along the bottom so that you could choose two items at 50% off and just look along the bottom, the under eye corrector that Aaliyah loves. You can get it for half price. The brush set are up to any five brushes that you liked tonight. You can get each of them or the entire brush set for 50% off the tinted brow gel, which I love 50% off when you purchase 50 dollars or more if you purchase 200 dollars, you get four of these items at 50 percent off so um mascara of your choice silky setting powder finishing spray um, micellar water oil free eye makeup remover after sun gel an absolute perfect summer item and an eyeliner of your choice uh 50 off when you with every 50 dollars you spend and so i'm just going to highlight the middle row and i'll go ahead maddie we can go ahead and take that picture down I can just show you like the microderm abrasion in the middle. It is regularly, um, it, it's 64 if you pr pr purchase them individually. So you're saving $14. It's only 50. Okay. This color palette, which is the one I used here with the three eyeshadows, it comes in the complete palette, the complete case and everything. Um, that is regularly 68 and you get it for 50. So you're saving $18 on that one. And then the last one is your foundation set. That's, we talked so much about foundation. You get the primer, a foundation of your choice and a brush of your choice. <coughs> Sorry. And that set is 50. So they're all 50 along the middle and I'll take you guys off. So you got, so everybody can see this set a little bit better. So they're all 50 along the middle. So any purchase of one of these, you get any one of these for half price. So that's a really good thing. Um, and then let's say you got this repair set. And let's say you got the foundation set. So that's 50. That's you get three, you get five, four items at, at half off of all of these down here. So it's just a great deal. We wanted to really give you something to go, wow, because Mary Kay doesn't go on sale. Um, it's just like a department store. So we wanted to give you something really special. So this is. Uh, the close sheet, it'll be a uh, part of the survey that you'll fill out. You'll see it again. And you'll also see it on this page, on this Facebook page. So take advantage of these specials. Um, good right now. Okay. For the next 24 hours. Tomorrow, we'll wrap it all up 
and finish giving you the prizes. But right now, we have more prizes to give. We're giving our big prizes right now. Welcome, girls. I think, let's see. Yeah, Therese is going to give. Am I first? I yeah, think you are. You are. I am first. Okay. Um, so first things first, we're giving away another microdermabrasion set to the lucky winner. Um, let's see. Oh, wait, we have our other one. Okay. Uh, Miss Kimmy Poof. Kimmy Poof. Congratulations, Yay. Kimmy. So exciting. And our next. That's you, girlfriend. <laughs> Teresa. Um. <laughs> You're giving another miracle set away. Oh, my goodness. Yes. yes. Susan Dudek is the winner of the oh, yes. TimeWise Miracle Set. All right, Susan, congratulations. That is a great, super great product. Okay. Um, all right. That is it. That is, ladies, I think we just finished just exactly one hour. Um, it says live one hour on my screen right there. That's what it says. So um, thank you so much, everybody, for coming. We hope you had a great time. We hope you learned a lot. A simple look, more dramatic, on-trend look. And remember, the specials are, yeah, I love it, are um, only available for the next 24 hours. So fill out your form, and I hope you you and your consultants enjoyed so much um, coming to visit our end-of-the-year summer glow. And get right. with your consultant to for that makeover look to get entered to win $1,500. Oh, yeah, super, super. Okay, great. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.